guys, it's your girl Sana, and today on Cape Town Thing we have Siti and just going to tell us about herself and her background in fashion. Hi guys, so as Sana already said, my name is Siti. Um, I studied fashion at Fedisa, which is um, one of the leading um, fashion brands in South Africa, I mean fashion institutions, sorry, in South Africa. Um, I graduated in 2018 and then after that I went to TFG and I did um, my internship in buying and now I'm just trying to figure myself out and start my own ventures. Okay, cool. That's, that's part of her Instagram. Is really yes. Great, so like do that. So it's Lunigo underscore M. <laughs> so today we're going to discuss uh, Cape Town based designers and brands and why we love them and why you should be investing in them. And the first brand we're going to discuss is a brand called Art Club and Friends and they're based in Woodstock. Guys, if you haven't checked this brand out, Please go and do so. They are it's amazing. amazing. They really are. Like, so we're gonna watch this video and then I'm gonna tell you why we love them and why you should invest in them. Okay, watch. Alvin Brown. I shouldn't see the video. Sorry. I have it. Yeah, it's <laughs> Showing the people who make their garments, yeah, and like that's really cool, like to put out there. And it's so raw, yeah. Like I like the fact that it's not like, like it's uptight, done, like, it's, like it's like it's fancy. It's yeah. like these are the people that make your clothes. And appreciating the seamstresses, like yeah, it's really sweet. I want to give them all my money, like every coin. That is. That's a really cool t-shirt. So like that was the video guys. Honestly, they are on Instagram. So if you want to check them out, please do. So why do you love the Art Club so much? I love the Art Club. Actually, I just found out about it recently. Probably like two years ago. Yeah. And I just feel like it's it's a brand that includes everyone. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it includes people that are very artistic and people that just want to enjoy life and just not always dress up you know yeah. what I mean so sometimes with the basic tees they have also you can always just dress it up or dress it down yeah they do have a lot of those and they have they've actually specialized in dungarees because I saw yes, like yes, yes. a like it was what's this artist's name Ricky Rick yes and they were like yes. styled him really cool and I was like oh my god yeah so you can literally style it up or down which is really cool yeah. and then that also means that the garments can actually be um, timeless as well yeah because now if you have like this basic tee that it, it will never basically run out of trend. Yeah, like true, it will always be true. there. So that's what's actually dope about the brand as well. And I think they really care about the customer as well. Like there was an article that I was reading mm -hmm. and she was basically saying she was seeing all these um, brands that were having like sales and everything. But she was like, but is that really necessary? Though? Like at yeah. this point of time, like think of your customer. Should you be saving for like a designer brand clothing item or should you actually be saving up for things I don't know yeah things that you need in this yeah. pandemic so I also thought that she thinks about her actual customers Customer, she cares, more than brand, yeah. yeah she cares more about what the things that she's putting out there because mm. she's putting like things you can wear every day but at the same time she's not using the pandemic as a marketing strategy yeah exactly and everyone is doing that and I appreciate the brands who are literally like trying looking out for the customer exactly yeah. so that's why you guys should invest in the art club please Take a look, go to their website, it's really amazing. And they're from Cape Town and they make everything in Cape Town. Imagine. Like their that's whole crazy. like CMT is just it's based here and like they hire local and that's what we need to be supporting right now. So if you want to spend money, go do on. that. <laughs> so like the next brand we are going to talk about is someone we know. Yes. Girl, sir. we see you, we respect you and we love you. Tell us about her. Please. So, um, Neo, so she basically went with us to um, our fashion school as well. She was also at Fedisa. She recently started her brand called uh, Made by Neo. And it's basically such a beautiful brand for women. Like, it's women inspired. It makes you feel, when you're actually wearing the garments, it makes you feel so beautiful and empowered. 
and also with her garments it's not um, specialized for a specific body size yeah. so it literally ranges from couture to lounge wear for different like. sizes exactly. as well that's what i like about like the, like in her brand like mm. nero's brand is like you go there and you're like oh maybe i want a pretty dress and you're like and there's a lounge dress section and you're like now the brand is actually like tapping into both markets yeah, yeah. and like customizing that to your body because usually like you go into a store and then you're like oh i can't wear this because it looks weird on me but like with her you yeah. have the option of getting it made for you and your body so and i think um the fashion industry as well it's shifting towards loungewear because now obviously people are going to work from home and um, obviously you need to be in something comfortable, but you still yeah. want to look fashionable. Sure. So I think it's a very good I mean, market to go into. Um, so I think she's doing really, really great. Doing great, sis. Like, I actually, like, when you told me, I didn't know she had a brand, by the way. Uh. Like, I found this brand. She sent me an email, like, two days ago. She's like, check out this brand. And Definitely. I was like, oh, my God. People are doing things, and I, I, I support, and I, I literally Definitely. back her, like, it, like go check out her Instagram actually like I'm looking at it right now but like, like look at that it's it's like her lounge it's like it's very beautiful and it's like quality and it's made and she makes everything herself so like if you you need to just you need to go check it out I can't actually like how much I'm so excited for this like just go check it out guys House of Infinite Stitches tell me yes. about it like I just saw this brand on Instagram and same I was like, same so I actually recently saw it because um, I was going through my Instagram and I saw this um, upcoming brand and I was like, oh my goodness. We don't have anything like it in Cape Town. I don't we think really so. We really don't. We don't. And that's what made it stand out for me. So it's basically um, a brand that just started out, I think, in now, no, yeah, during right. the pandemic, 20, 2020. Um, and brave, by the way. Yes, yes. Very brave. Some of us are like, eh. I don't know. Should I? I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a break in 2020. Like, 2020 is cancelled for me. We're going to go 2019, 2021. Yeah. But, yeah. So basically, um, they specialize in oversized suits so that I've never seen anything like it in yeah. Cape Town personally. And I love oversized suits. They play around with power play and basically all the garments that they make can be dressed up or dressed down as well. They're comfortable and it's just like a vibe. Like I really love where the brand is going. I think they're feeding into a specific target or niche within Cape Town. Like there are people that would love to wear um, oversized suits and still look stylish. So you always see those things like overseas and with all these brands, brands but it's yeah. never been it's local. Local. And yeah. I actually really like their brand because of like how un like unisex it is. Yes, like yes. everything like you like, oh that's a guy's blazer, but like like how they style like you guys can go check out their Instagram, how they style everything, it just makes it look very like sophisticated and very classy. Mm. And at the same time very street. Like they found yes. a perfect balance for There's the There's a balance, definitely. And that I read like it's and the, like I guess it's their styling and their styling team and whatever. But like, if you look at like what they do, you'll like you'll appreciate it. Like I know, oversized isn't for everyone, mm. but when you see it, you'll be like, I understand. I think like, it's also about styling. Like yeah. it can be for everyone, but it's just how you, you style it yeah, as well. True, true. So the way they style it is, I think, is very dope. Yeah. So like, guys, like check it. it out. House of Infinite Stitches. Like I'm gonna say it again. House of Infinite Stitches. Stitches. Link is below, so like go look them up, please. So like look and Dingri, like I he you know like actually like I am beyond I love this brand. Like Same. and people like the thing he doesn't get hyped like all the other like the ones that are like getting out there, up, out yeah. there now. Yeah. But like you guys need to check it out. Last year. He's like going you. international. Yes, like he's, he was in New York Fashion Week men and women. So I'm like when He's you, looking like far. He's not just looking here, yeah. it's just like his brand is amazing. Insane. Amazing. So, like, he plays with okay, so, like why well, I love this brand because like he plays with um, text, different textures. Like, different textures. So, like yeah. everything is ready to wear, but like the patterns, the textures, like and the contrast, the contrast as well. As, just it, makes it beautiful. Like the contrast he plays like, with together with the textiles, it's just amazing. Yeah, and he also like like plays with feminine and like men. So like mm. you'll put men in very feminine silhouettes. But once the guy is in a jihad, like, oh my god, that guy's wearing yeah. something feminine. Like, that guy's wearing a dope ass look. Like, he, like, the way he plays around with, like, with texture and at the same time with what should go on a man's body, what should go on a female's yes. body, that for me is like, you don't see a lot of designers, like, pushing that boundary. Mm -hmm. Like, it's either they go super androgynous, but they never find, like, the right balance. Yes. And, and I think like, he has that balance. Yeah. He got that balance. And also, his like the colors that he uses all the time they are so rich are. like it feels like he's telling like africa's history of, like yeah. it is very rich in color as well like 
It's amazing. Like, and I love, love, love I the brand. Love, like, it's, and like, he's, if you look at it, everything's like super sophisticated, like, and super classy. Mm. Like, mm. it's like street, but like, at the same time, it's like, nah, it's, it, it, it's Kanye West on steroids for a brand. Like, on I, steroids. Yeah, yep. on, it's Kanye West on steroids. Like, that brand is, I love it. I love the boldness. I love the garments. I love the colors. It's a, it's a beautiful brand, guys. Check it out. Please. And also, um, I think on an interview, he was saying that he was actually saving up for his brand. So when he was working at Clark, yeah. he was saving up for his brand. Imagine. Yes, I work at Clark. We just save up and just <laughs> and like be there with your bread. Too. Yes, I find that very inspirational. Like, like the fact that he was like, actually, I'm not going to be going to retail and look for jobs or waiting for someone to give me a job. Yeah. Let me save up. Let me go to waitressing and just save up and start my own brand. And now he's doing really, really good. So big ups I, to him. Like he's doing beyond really, really good. Yeah. Like once you're on the cover of Vogue and yes. you are in New York doing your thing, you've kind of reached almost the ceiling and he's putting like South Africa on the map. Yes, he is. And also putting Cape Town on the map. Like... It's, it's, he's doing amazing things, guys. Like, let's support local. Like, I cannot... I think it's very this. important. It really especially is. Especially during this pandemic. Like, what you want to do is support local. Yeah. That's definitely what you want to do. Okay, cool, guys. We're going to watch this video. And... <sighs> great stuff. The visuals. Yes, I love <laughs> visuals. For me, it's visuals. <laughs> Come oh. with the visuals and I'm already like... Came from my own oh my word. Like this, this is streetwear meets like... It's raw. Afternoon. It's no. so raw. I like the fact that you won't find like his streetwear and they'll put it in like the V&A. Like they literally go to the hood or like a place that is like raw. Yeah. And where it all came from. Exactly. Because like this is like... This is Africa in a nutshell. And I like, you know what I like about it is that it's like it's Africa meets modern. Which is like, yeah. it makes us like, it's our street tour. Like it's, if we had- No one can take it away there, from us, exactly. Yeah. Outside of immigrant stories and to use the platform or even to move like away this from is... negative narratives that frequently goes with Love it. Yes. Like the visuals go well with like what the whole brand, what he's trying to go for. It's just mind blowing. Mind blowing. And I'm happy that I actually found out about it because yeah. I think people need to actually research more about local designers because there's so much talent, guys. So much talent. That's what I was saying because, like, in my mind, like when I when I was planning the segment, uh -huh. like I was like, what Cape Town designers are there? Because same, I was like, oh, I don't even like who yeah. are out yeah. there. And I actually like I literally typed in Google Cape Town based designers, and I was mind blown. Like we can't cover. All of them. There's a lot, like, actually. So, like, yeah. guys, do yourselves a favor. Google Cape Town based designers and go look up the designs we just mentioned on the segment. And, like, they're in the description below. So, please, 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 please read that. And if you have any designers that you want us to talk about next time, drop a comment and I'll get back to you. And please, if you haven't, click subscribe and the bell. And I'm so happy that you were here. Thanks for having me, girl. Thank I you. I haven't seen her in a minute. And it's I'll been a while. That, yeah. It's been a while. She's out there pushing the brand, guys. Like, follow her on Instagram. Yes, please, and guys. look out the brands. And thank you for watching this. See you next time. Bye. Alvin Brown.